Hello, welcome to Beat Diabetes and Benedicta. And today we are talking about bulletproof coffee, the win, the... Hello, welcome to, the, uh, to Beat Diabetes. Uh, no, try it again. Hello, welcome to Beat Diabetes and Benedicta Pollock. And um, uh, today we are talking about bulletproof coffee and um, the when, the when, the why, the how, and when not to drink bulletproof coffee. That sounds pretty good. Well, I am blessed to have my lovely wife, Benedicta, with me as we talk a little more about Bulletproof Coffee. Uh, I've done one video about it already, haven't I? Yes, you have. But we've got lots of new viewers, and plus we want to bring in a couple of more subjects or more points to it. Right. So as you so beautifully introduce the segment, we're going to talk about when, why, how, and when not to. Right. The one negative about it. You know, we've been married for 13 plus years, coming up on 14 soon. Yeah, it's like forever. <laughs> <laughs> and and you like to tease me about how I'm a routine man. I do everything in yeah, routine. Yeah, very much routine every, every day. Yeah. <laughs> but when you think about it, uh, I've changed a lot of my routine since we first got married. Yeah. Yes. That that I know. You have changed a little bit. You know, Be things are no longer like this time is this, the other time is that. <laughs> well, you know, when we first got married. If I remember right, I ate breakfast every single day. Yes. I mean, a real breakfast where you chew on the food. And yes. I even had cereal and just yes. things I don't eat today. Yes. And um, never even touched bulletproof coffee in those days. Yeah, in those days, we never knew what bulletproof coffee never was. Never even mm. heard of it. No. Today, uh, this is about my only breakfast. <laughs> Yes. Well, about maybe once or twice a week, I'll have a real breakfast where I chew on food, but otherwise I just drink my breakfast. Yes. And uh, But people are curious uh, about Bulletproof Coffee. They wonder, uh, well, why do you do it? Uh, how do you do it? it? It's so simple. I'm almost embarrassed to just uh, tell them because there's not much to it at all. But uh, Bulletproof Coffee is basically taking coffee, which most Americans love anyway, and yes. adding some fat to it. So there are several different choices you have. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and pull out these one by one, these different ingredients. Well, one is cream. Yes, this is called heavy whipping cream, but if you can't get heavy whipping cream, just cream, any kind of cream. Right. We were talking about that. You mentioned in Africa they probably wouldn't be able to get heavy whipping cream, but they can get cream, right? Yeah, it's been uh, yeah, even no, a while I left Nigeria, so it might be it might be there, you know, but cream is there. We yeah. have cream, yes. So uh, cream is uh, something we both love and put in our coffee a lot. Right. And then uh, bring out the next ingredient. This is butter. Butter. And butter is basically pure fat. Yeah. And so you're adding pure fat to your coffee once again. Uh, about a tablespoon of butter. Now with the heavy cream, it's going to be more than that for me. I mean, you can yeah. obviously do it the way you want. There's no bulletproof police going to come to your door and arrest you if you don't do it a certain way. But half, for me, a half spoon is okay. uh, I'm, I'm usually using, I would guess, three tablespoons or maybe even four. I don't know. But uh, uh, more of the cream than yeah. the butter. Yes. And, but now I don't use this next ingredient, but a lot of people do. Go ahead and bring that out. I use it sometimes. Okay. So this is coconut oil. Yes. Now you're not going to just take a spoon and dump it in your coffee, are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to have to melt it. Not a, a lot. Bit. Just, you know, maybe half teaspoon and just melt it a little bit. There you go. Mm. Now, uh, the uh, one question people might may ask is the why. The why. Why, why would you do we drink it? Do that. <laughs> well, here's the thing with fat, you get virtually no insulin in, uh, increase, no bump right. in insulin, which um, keto people do not want high insulin levels. In fact, nobody should want it because it, it is bad news for you when your insulin is high. Right. And you get no, almost no bump in your blood sugar. So you keep your blood sugar running along normally and stable. Right. You keep your insulin running along normally and stable. So it, it, but you may say, well, why would you do it at all? It gives you some satisfaction. Okay. It makes you feel like I've had something in my stomach. Yes. And it satisfies me much more than, say, a black cup of coffee. 
right it feels you up you know i like to i've been kind of drinking it for some time now like if you don't want to eat breakfast a lot of breakfast that will you know weigh you down as you want to walk you know in the morning you just take a, a, a cup of bleep proof uh, coffee i've been doing it for some time it's really good fills you up and then it gives you that you know morning window uh of empty stomach and then with that you're losing a little weight and all that and um you stay till afternoon i stay till afternoon before we eat lunch right we normally have our first official meal where you're actually chewing on food at uh, 12 31 o'clock yes now here's the thing when you're sleeping you're giving your body a meta a metabolic vacation you're okay. giving it rest it's not right. having to deal with hopefully you've had your meal around 6 37 p.m at the latest uh -huh. the night before so by bedtime you're going to sleep your body has says oh i can take it easy i don't yeah. have anything to deal with i don't have sugars i don't have carbs I, I i can just rest and relax now in the morning when you have your bulletproof coffee you're continuing that little vacation for your body okay because it still has no carbs and no sugars to deal with yes. so it can continue to rest which is a very very nice thing uh you're you're basically putting fat in your coffee some people may say oh that fat it's going to make you fat right and it, 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 if yeah. the name is fat it's going to make, make you, you fat, fat right that, that was the mentality we had in those <laughs> that days was the well <laughs> you're right that was the mentality from the old days right now here, here's a scenario for you. If you see uh, a guy coming along wearing bell-bottom trousers and he has a, a Walkman cassette player listening with headphones, uh -huh. cassette player, Walkman, right? and he's uh, singing the BG song, Staying Alive, Staying Alive. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're going to look at that guy and you're going to say, now there's something strange here mm. because all that's from the 70s and the early 80s. You know, what is he doing with a Walkman cassette player? Nobody, they haven't made those in years and nobody yeah. uses them anymore. And why is he singing Stay in a Lot? Well, that, I admit that's kind of popular still. But, and why is he wearing bell bottoms? Anyway, the point is, he's, it's like, what time machine did you get off of to be looking like and acting like that? And if you're saying fat makes you fat or the other idea of fat pl uh, plugs up your arteries and so forth, right. you're coming from the 1970s and 80s, my friend. You're not basing uh, those ideas on the latest research and the latest scientific evidence because all the research is saying fat does not make you fat and fat does not clog your arteries as long as you don't mix it with a bunch of carbs. So here's a question. Would it ever be not such a great idea to have bulletproof coffee? Is there ever any reason not to? And there is a pretty good answer for that. Okay. And it has to do with the, the fat that accumulates on our pancreas and on our liver. And uh, we want to burn that off because when your pancreas is loaded with fat, you've got yeah. fatty pancreas, fatty liver. Yeah. And they talk about the non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Okay. You become entirely inefficient at processing carbohydrates and your blood sugar goes up. And it's one of the big reasons why people are diabetic, their liver. They may not even look all that fat, or they may, but their liver is full of fat. Okay. And it is unhealthy and it is a terrible metabolic situation. Now, you want to burn that off, but when you're drinking coffee with fat in it, you're not adding to the fat on your liver or your okay. pancreas, okay. but your body's not going to be burning it off and feeding on it because it's feeding on what you've just given it out of your coffee. Okay. So bulletproof coffee is fine if you don't have fatty liver and fatty pancreas, but if you've got that fat on your organs inside, mm. uh, in some ways it's almost better just to have black coffee or just drink water. Yes. So it can, the body doesn't have any fat to feed on from your coffee. And it can start working on the fat in your organs. Melting it down. Melting that fat off, releasing it until your liver becomes a mean, lean machine. And okay. your pancreas as well. Right. But once you've got that done, then this is a very nice thing. And we usually have yes. our Bulletproof coffee. Very To me, it's very comfortable. When I first thought about giving up breakfast... Oh, it, it felt painful. It's like, yeah. I love my breakfast. Now, Jeez. here's one thing. I, I, I work out of my house, so I set my own hours. And yeah. that means if I want to have a leisurely breakfast, uh, I can. Nobody's yeah. going to come and I have no boss that's going to come and chew me out for taking too long for breakfast. And we usually do what as we drink our coffee? Yeah, I can't boss you around, could I? <laughs> <laughs> you, you cannot boss me around. Well, although you try and sometimes you actually do. 
But that's a whole other story. We don't want to give, get off on that. He's the boss here. Uh, well, I don't know about that. Uh, it, it, you know, they say the man is the head of the home, but the woman is the neck, and she moves the head wherever she wants. Yeah, when you go eat it too much, I move your head. Like, no, not this way. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, when we have our coffee, we watch the news, we relax, we have a Bible study afterwards, and it's just a really relaxing time. But when I first thought about giving up breakfast, it was like, that's a big part of my morning, you know, to yes. have my breakfast, watch the news, have Bible study with, with my sweet wife. But I found that this bulletproof coffee works just fine. Yes. And it, it satisfies me. And I yeah. know that I get a lunch at 12.30 or 1 o'clock. So it's not like I'm I'm all that desperate anyway. But it kind of tides me over until... You won't feel hungry that much. Yeah, not that much. Maybe a little, but not no, bad. No. Yeah. So anyway, it, it works for us. But uh, if, if you feel you've got fatty liver, you may want to just drink black coffee or just water or whatever yes. and burn that fat off of your liver and, uh, and out of your pancreas. If you have enjoyed this video, how about giving it a, a thumbs up, click on the like button and like it. If, um, and if you enjoyed it that much, you can give us a little chat below. Tell us how much you, you know, love it, dropping a note for us to read. And, um, and at the same time, if you have not subscribed, uh, you can just go ahead and subscribe so that every video we show can come right to you. Yeah. Um, and yeah. let's uh, hold your cup and let's toast each other. My love, be blessed and highly favored. Thank you, Dennis. I sent to you. You're <laughs> blessed and highly favored. Amen. <laughs> I just wanted to remind you that I do have another channel. It's called by my name, Dennis Pollock. And on this channel, I also upload talks and lectures. But in this case, I share insights from the Bible. If the Bible has mystified you and you can't seem to figure it out, Watching some of these talks, which I call video devotionals, might help you. My Beat Diabetes channel is all about finding victory in the physical realm, but the Dennis Pollock channel is about finding victory in the realm of the spirit, which is, of course, the greatest victory of all. A link to this channel is in the description.